Two days after mass protests forced the president to resign, the people of Burkina Faso returned to the streets, this time to denounce a military coup. Demonstrators demanding civilian rule gathered in the capital to accuse the army of hijacking their revolution. Shots were heard at state TV headquarters as security forces moved in to clear an opposition leader and her supporters and assert their authority. The army should leave the public stage immediately, says this protester. It's role is to safeguard our national territory. The biggest democracies in the world are governed by civilians, not by soldiers. Westerners want to put the military in place so they can govern us. But the eyes of the people of Burkina Faso have now been opened. After a power struggle within the military, presidential guard officer Isaac Zida won backing from the army and assumed control of a transitional government. But the UN, US and African Union have all condemned the military takeover. President Blaise Kampari's power base, like his brother's home, now ransacked by looters, lies in ruins. The president fled to the Ivory Coast with its believed family members after efforts to prolong his 27-year rule ended in unrest.